So innovation is, is really critical to, to what we do here. We're always looking for both, you know, the obvious problem and the not so obvious problem and trying to make product better. You know, it's, it's easy when you have a problem because there's a goal in sight, you're trying to fix that problem. But when you don't have a problem, it really takes a creative mind to say, you know, where could we be better? So RAD is uh, racing application development. And basically what we do is uh, we use it as a tool to develop products that we're not quite ready to release to the public. Uh, we want to go ahead and test them out um, in racing environments so that we can make sure that, uh, for one, that they actually survive, and two, that they actually work and provide a performance uh, advantage. It's a really good tool for us to be able to, to play with these things and make sure it's actually going to do what we think it's going to do before we actually release it out to the public. One of the benefits to being a part of Motorsports and the RAD system is we can, we can make changes quickly. We jump at it, we build it, we test it before we ever release it to the market. It gives us a lot of freedom. From programming, developing algorithms, to testing, following the path of tried things in motorsports and then trickle down from there to more customer oriented products. And so like motorsports being the test bed. Good. You know, putting the system on a on a Mason all-wheel drive didn't yield the same performance that we got out of the two-wheel drive trucks and the 4400 trucks. And one of the feedback was just some harshness, um, kind of on the, I would say, more square edge, bigger whoops um, that we just didn't experience on the two-wheel drive or the 4400 for that matter. So we, um, the team's just been working hard on the dyno trying to figure out where that harshness is and where it's coming from. And we think we've pinpointed some of that, so we're, that's what's driving this test is some of those orifice changes to remedy some of that, that harshness. Innovation, obviously, like there's always, being motorsports, you're always trying to find that last piece of improvement, trying to be better than everyone else. You're trying to beat the competition. So innovation is, is part of motorsports, right? Like you're always finding, you know, the, a loophole or a gray area where you can improve, be better than everyone else. You know, what gives you the advantage over the competition? So you have to be constantly innovating. You know, it's a never ending thing. You know, it's a never ending improvement. Uh, always trying to go fast, you know, go faster than before. What comes to mind for me is that the top innovation would be the internal bypass, you know, actually getting that out to the masses and this, this live valve system that we've developed and it's now out to the masses and it's, it's only on the tip of the iceberg. I mean, it's, it's got potential to completely blow up and revolutionize off-road racing and aftermarket. As motorsports has been reborn, I would say, we've been, really been focused on data and testing. Um, and that's what lab testing has allowed us to do is, is to throw scenarios into the dyno that we might think a trophy truck would see and let's see what the data looks like. You're trying to mimic what the shock is seeing when you're on the race truck and the way it moves, right? Like, so you have your compression and rebound stroke and with the dyno, you're putting the shock in a controlled environment where you tell it to go a certain speed, like say in inches per second, yeah, like I don't know, 20 inches per second. And you want to see what forces you're achieving at that speed with the shock. We use that plus, you know, a lot of other parameters to make informed decisions to what we have to do for tuning and what the shock needs to be like, you know, to design a shock that's efficient and it has a, you know, fa factor of sa safety so that it can withstand the whole Baja 1000, you know, peninsula run and you know, look like new in the end.
No one else has a sharp dino like ours. We got the biggest in the world. For Fox, I think Rad really is our culture. It is our DNA. Without the passion, you know, we wouldn't be able to keep driving like we do because, yeah, race wins are important, but, you know, we really just want to make a better product and, and not stop.